So, napakakulay ng iyong buhay, ano? <laughs> Talagang napakadaming mga komplikasyon <laughs> na dinaanan. But how was it when you were young? Ano yung mga experiences mo na masasabi mong, alam mo na, traumatic or dramatic? Yung talagang made an impact on your life. I, I think the, the most that impacted my life was, my, I come from a broken family. Mm -mm. So broken, ibig sabihin, hiwala yung mga magulang mo. No? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I think I've always, when I came into being, parang may kulang sa buhay ko. Mm. Ako yung nagkakaisip na. Mm. So, I always was wondering, sino ang ama ko? Because when I was going to school, um, I see kids that have... With, with both parents or yes. the, the dads. So, I wondered... Ikaw wala. Ako wala. At, oh, oh. Uh, and my lola made me believe na ang lolo ko was my father. So, ah. so I thought that my uncle was my, my brother at that time. Oh, oh. So, I can hear people saying, pa, paano magkapatid yan? May itim ito, maputi ka. Oh, 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 oh. So, I said, there's something not right. Sabi ko, may, ah. may, may, may tama. So, I start asking questions. Back then, my family or my lola ruled with an upper hand. No, no one should dare say anything about me, about my, my, my father, or anything like that. So, mm -hmm. my queries was heightened more because I wanted to find the real truth, but no one would speak. Oh, oh. Would, no one would tell me. Oh, 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 oh. So, yan din alam mo yan. You had always wanted to know about your dad. Yes. Parang ganun. Yes. No? yes. Up to what age mo yan dinaladala sa, sa iyong sarili? I, um, as my story went, uh, I, my search when I was in grade school, uh -oh. when I was in high school, and mm -hmm. when I went to college, and when I, nung malis na ako sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. I, I was also, hinahanap ko po siya. Hinahanap ko At siya. talagang gusto mo malaman kung Gusto ko malaman. So, I had hindi, a... Hindi, natiyak mo na ba na talagang nawawala o hindi mo alam kung nasaan ang father mo? So, kasi sabi mo kanina, ang pagpapakilala sa'yo ng lola mo ay yung lolo mo, okay. ang iyong dad eh. Yes, o. yes. And Pero you... yung natural father mo, hinanap-hanap mo talaga. Yes, opo. At, at tinanong ko po ang meron kaming kamag-anak sa probinsya oh, oh. who was uh, na, na, na nagsabi sa akin na ang daddy mo ay buhay mm -mm. at tumitira sa ibang town. Oh, oh. Which is one, sa isang town over ng where I was born, sa Kabagat, Isabela. Sa Isabela? Oo, oh, oh, sa Isabela. Oh, oh. So, on one of my vacation with my lola, sinabi ko doon sa, sa auntie ko, samahan mo nga ako doon sa bahay ng papa ko na sinasabi mo. Ilan taong ka niyan, Roxanne? I, I was in high school at High school? Time. O teenager ka na? Uh, I was okay. in high school. Uh -oh. But I, hindi ko mahanap. You know, wala, na, wala na daw sila doon. Lumipat na daw sa Manila. Ah. So, oh, so oh. I, yun, yun ang... Yun ang ginawa. So, but, uh, so how was your relationship sa mother mo naman? It was very, uh, ma mabait po ang mama ko. It was okay. Eh, hindi mo ba ni minsan tinanong ang mama mo? Tinanong ko po siya. About your mother, uh, about your father? At, at, tinanong ko po siya. Oo. Uh -oh. At, um, dinideny niya, sabi niya na patay na siya. That's how she, that, ah, yun, yun ang sinasabi niya, uh -oh. patay na daw siya. Uh Oo. -oh. So, uh -oh. Because it's my mother, naniwala ako. Naniwala ako na wala, wala ah, na yung daddy ko. Yun ang paniniwala mo, napatay hmm. na talaga. Uh -huh. So ano yun, lumaki ka doon sa lola mo. Uh -huh. Parang gano'n, no? Mm -hmm. And how was your lola? My Naman. lola was very strict. And ah. very, masyadong strict ang lola ko. Like, as in what? As in, very uh, conservative, very... Uh, may upon siya na... Uh -uh. Uh, I, I don't know how to compare it ba? Kasi she's a very religious person. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh, parati yung nagsisimba, parati yung kasama ako magsimba sa baklara noong bata uh, ako sa, sa, sa St. Anthony Church. Uh -huh. At saka kung feast ng ganitong saint, pupunta yun sa simbahan. Uh -oh. Parati akong kasama. Uh -oh. At kaya po din, kaya pumupunta po. kami. At what age ka ba nagpunta na Amerika? Uh, 18. 18? Mm -hmm. 18 years old? Ay, matagal ka rin pala dito. Opo. Mm -hmm. Up to 18 na sa Pilipinas ka? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aha. E ba, uh, what brought you to the States? Anong dahilan? Bakit napunta ka na Amerika? Um, nung high school po ako, meron akong kalaro. Mm -mm. 
uh, hindi ko alam kung anong tawag dun sa conflicted. I was conflicted already at that point. Uh -huh. So, nagka uh, nagkaroon din ako ng girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, uh, playmate ko sa Sampaloc. That's yes. where I grew up in Sampaloc. Ah, Sampaloc. And then we moved to Quezon City later on when I went to college na. Uh -oh. na college na ako. So, um, through our dating, you know, it uh, ko that was my teenage years, uh, or early college years, uh, she uh, claimed that she was a Okay, na she was a By you? By me. Oh, no. The ang sabi ng lola ko, nung, because of the guilt trip that uh, na, na I was experiencing, uh -huh. um, sabi ko, di magtanan tayo. Nagtanan kami. At 18? Uh, uh, 18 years 18. old ka? Oh, yes. O oh, sige, nagtanan, nagtanan kayo. Kami. And then... Oh, nagbuntis siya. Sab sabi niya. But, ah, but hindi mo nakita? Hindi, hindi, ko, hindi mo nakita hindi, na nagbuntis siya? Hindi ko nakita na buntis siya. O, oh, sige. O, oh, tapos... So, so then, after that, I felt na, na guilty ako. Tinawagan ko ang mama ko. Oh. Sabi ko, I know, na hinahanap mo kami. Andito, andito ako. Muwi ka na sa bahay. Muwi, muwi mo na ako sa inyo kasama mo, sabi ng mama ko. Oh, oh. So, muwi kami. Kasama mo yung babae? Oo, oh, kasama ko yung babae. So, nag-uusap sila, nag-uusap sila. Then, unbeknownst to me, si ang lola ko, pinaimbestiga yung girlfriend ko. Okay. Yeah, uh, little did, did she know, kasi sabi niya, kinaclaim niya na she was going to the University of the Philipp uh, University of the East. Okay. And my... my my uh, isang auntie ko nagtatrabaho sa registrar ng UE. Ah. So, so anong natuklasan ng lola mo? Do sa girlfriend mo? Natuklasan ng lola ko na hindi pala siya enrolled. That she ana uh, sinasabi niya sa akin na nag-aaral siya. Ah, oh, so, ayun. Ang ginawa ng lola ko, pinaayos yung papeles ko para makaalis ng Pilipinas. Ah. Kaya pinaalis ako ng lola ko. Ah, nilayo ka dun sa babae. Oh. In the meantime, Si babae, nagbuntis ba? Uh, Nanganak ba? Hindi naman po. Ah, hindi? Hindi. Walang ano yun. So, pinaalis ka doon at doon ka na pinaaral sa Amerika? Uh, doon na po ako nag, nag, uh, nagsundalo. Doon na ako nag-aral. Subsequent to my going, uh, subsequent sa aking nagsundalo mm. ng Amerika. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. At what age mo unang naramdaman na, alam mo na, yung kakaiba ka? na hindi ka karaniwang batang lalaki. Yung parang pusong babae ka or, you know, yung ganun. Kasi kailan mo yan at naramdaman, Roxanne? Nung elementary po pa kami, um, pinadala ah, kami ng pa? lola ko sa ballet school uh -huh. ng, ating, ng aking ate. Mm -hmm. And in that ballet school, naiinis ako mag-aral mag, mag dahil pinasusot kami ng tights oh. sa lalaki. Oh. Eh gusto ko isuot yung tuto niya. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> gusto mo magtuto, ha? Ah. Ayaw mo. Sabi, kaya, bago, bago ko lumabas, kailangan tignan ko muna. Salamin, sarili ko sa salamin, susuot oh. yung, yung tuto ng ate ko bago, <laughs> bago ko papayag. Pero, totoo ba? Pwede ba sabihin na talagang nilabanan mo muna noon yung pagiging gay? Nilabanan mo talaga? Yes, yes. Ha? By, you know, nagka-girlfriend ka, eh, no? Nagka-girlfriend ka. Uh, how did you convince yourself na, you know, it was right to do that at that time. Kasi may feelings ka na pala na kakaiba ka eh. No? Opo. Pero, kasi ang, <coughs> ang mga taong nakapaligid sa akin, eh, marami din, marami akong uncle, marami akong mga tiyo oh. na nagsasabi sa akin, magandang lalaki ka, kailangan makabuntis ka. <laughs> ah, kailangan oh. makapag-asawa ka, kailangan mar marami kang anak. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. eh, Di, yun po ang, <coughs> ang malamit na siya, malamit. Madalas, na, Madalas na sinasabi, sinasabi sa, sa iyo, no? Oh. So, uh, yun ang nag-prod sa'yo para magka-girlfriend, yung yes, ba? Yes, yes. Ah, so it were not as if na nag-girlfriend ka to test yourself. No. Ay, no. hindi naman. Uh, yung, yung mga pressure po na, 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 na pinagdadaan. Na in love ka ba, Kiki? Na in, no, I mean, na in love ka raw sa isang military guy na from the Philippine Navy? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. You did? Yes. Sabay sila. Uh, si Lita, tsaka yung that guy. Yes, hindi po, hindi po uh, Philippine Navy, U.S. Navy. 
Ah, U.S. Navy! Yes. Okay. So, he, nung ma-discharge, ang kanyang story, ang pagsasabi niya sa akin, um, na-discharge niya siya sa U.S. Navy. <clears throat> May asawa siyang Amerikano sa Amerika. At uh, sabi ko, bakit nandito ka sa Pilipinas? Oo. So, it's a long story short na at that time, hindi ko alam kung ano ang kwan, kung ano really ang istorya niya. So, um, nung my experience ko na mag-army mag, mag, ako sa, sa United States, then I, I understood na kailangan kung, ikaw, kung nandun sa military sa USA, uh, kailangan careful ka, otherwise you will be given a dishonorable discharge. And it, it will be a, a record on your... Um, all your life. Uh, 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 uh. Kasi tata, a very important uh, questioner sa mga sa Amerika na have you served in the military? Okay. And, and di mo ma-deny <clears throat> because it's on your record. Okay. So, do, doon ko nakita na, <clears throat> yes, it's a very, very, ano, mm -hmm. stringent, uh, stringent um, way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And military, what can you do? Uh, uh. Diba? So, uh, ang, ang, sina, ang kinikwento mo ba ngayon, Roxanne, uh, is already, ano ito? Uh, nasa, when you were in the military, mm -hmm. tanggap mo na Apo. na ikaw ay gay. Yes. You are in the military. Yes. Aba, eh, ano talaga yan? That is, ano tawag nito? Controversial. <laughs> di ba? Yes. Controversial yon. Yes. As a matter of fact, ang laking controversy yun sa, sa, sa US uh, military. Di ba? Yes. Kung tatanggap sila ng ng ano ng ibang kasarian ibang kasarian ng third sex yes. no kwento mo yun sa akin that sounds so interesting to me so what were the th things that you had to you had to keep or you had to do mm -hmm. no para nga hindi ka mabulgar kung hindi nako na loko na nasa ano mo na file mo na nga yan <laughs> pwede ba ako bumalik na nung ako ay college ano oo oh, oh, oh. um, alam ko na na Ayaw ko magmilita, ayaw ko mag-ROTC or anything like that. But that was part, parti ko ng pag, pagkakali sa atin dito. Oo, oh, kailangan. Okay. Daanan mo yun. Oh. But uh, na-feel ko na na one of my buddies, kung kay, fellow, mo. fellow ROTC, oh, oh. nagkagusto ako sa one of our um, um, ano pa ito? Mil, uh, cadets. One of the Cadet, cadets of yeah, the ROTC. Of the cadet. Okay. Uh, officer of the officer. cadet. Officer. Ah, yeah. all right. But I dare not sabihin sa kanya na gusto kita, of course, you uh -huh. know, that's the no-no. Uh -oh. So, then I, I felt the same way nung pinadala ako forcefully papuntang Guam. Nung okay. pinadala ako sa Guam. Now, I wanted, gusto kong makaalis sa Guam. Hindi ko gusto dahil that was my, yun ang pinakauna kong pag-alis sa Pilipinas. Mm -mm. So, na-homesick ako na gusto. Uh -oh. So, sabi ko, wala na akong magagawa, hindi na ako muna makakabalik sa Pilipinas. Kaya nag-join ako ng U.S. Army sa Guam. Mm -hmm. um, Doon na nagsimula ang experience ko at... Um, Paano mo itinago yun? Mahirap yun, ha? Nasa, umbaga, when, there is a term na tinatawag nilang closet gay. Closet so, gay. Yeah, closet yes. gay. And okay. sa generation ko, uh, if, if ikaw ay isang bakla, uh -oh. you learn how to be in the closet tinatago tinatago so okay. at, paano mo nga tinatago yun eh in, ang 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 ano ba uh, ah. <laughs> ang alin paano kasi na imagine ko lang Roxana no yeah. you had to go through training right right yeah. and training is you know the masculine training right. hindi But, naman yung gay training yeah. so we need to say tumatakbo ka. You, you know, yung, yung did, ganong did, activities na talagang pang macho. Ginawa, ang, ginawa ko Ginawa ko mo rin yun. Yes. Pero Kasi, siguro naninibog ko yung dandamin mo. Uh, uh, like, Ibig sabihin, you, you were, yung kalooban mo, yeah. kalooban mo, you were fighting it, no? but you had, you know, couldn't do anything. You no. had to do it. Parang ganun. Katulad po ng sa US Army, in the, in the private store, ang pagpapaligo. 
sige. So, hindi. O oh, sige. So, pag naliligo kayo, open sa lahat. Open sa lahat. Walang okay. pinto, walang cubicle, walang ano, no, yeah. ha? O, oh, yun. Naghihintay ako hanggang sa matapos yung mga maligo at bago ako maligo. E, ikaw naman ang susunod. Oh. Oh, Hubot-hubad ang paliligo. Oh, Siyempre. Siyempre. O, oh, paano yun? <laughs> paano yun? <laughs> Tinataon ko po na either na gisig na mga ibang sundalo bago ako maligo. O, oh, tapos na lahat siya maligo bago ako maligo. Ay, ba't ganun? Bakit? Para ako mag lang. Para ako lang ang mag -isa. Ayaw mo nang meron. <laughs> Ayaw ko makita. Ayaw ko din makakita. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Tapos, eh, doon, while, while you were there in training, mm -hmm. uh, nagkaroon ka ba ng, ano, ng, ng gusto sa isa sa mga kasamahan mo? Yung, yung ganung, ano yes. ba? Meron, meron ka, din. Meron din. Paano mo naman itinago? Yung, tinago mo ba? Tinago ko. At ah, tinago mo? Yeah, but, um, kasi ang itsura ko naman po ay lalaki. Hindi naman ganito. Kaya, oh. Marami din akong kaibigan na kapwa ko lalaki. Oo. Oh, oh, Kaya, oh. uh, yun. Nagkaroon ka ba ng best friend while you were there? Somebody na nakakonfide ka? Uh, Was there anyone else na nakaalam na ikaw ay gay? No. In the, in the U.S. military? No. No. Never. 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 Oh. Kasi takot ka. No. Takot ka. I would imagine there, are some, there were sanctions against such, ano, no? Uh -huh. Especially in, the ka, especially in the generation po. Uh, oh, oh, in that generation. Medyo nag at na that ngayon. time na uh -huh. when President Obama became the president, uh -huh. uh, nag-relax nag, nag, nag ng konti. Uh -huh. Now Trump changed that whole policy again. Ano, balik na naman. Uh -huh. Stricto na naman sila. Uh -huh. Teka muna, napasama ka ba sa gera, di ba? Yes. Oh, so at sa Vietnam. Napunta you were po. in Vietnam for two years. No, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Naku! Oh, how was that? How was that? Kamusta ka naman dun sa gera? Um, I think, hindi ko po maisip ang ka, kabaklaan ko or dahil yung aking pag-iisip eh, kailangan ma, ma, matapos ko itong gera na buhay. Uh, uh, uh. Ayaw, kung eh, hindi ko mailabas ang pag kasarian ko dahil kailangan manakasang doon mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Nasa gera. Oh, oh. So, wala po sa isip ko yung kabaklaan ko. Wala. Talaga, ano, survival ang nasa isip exactly. mo. Exactly. Yun, yun. Hindi yun. That's the right word. Yeah. 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 Hindi ba pwede, Roxana, ano? Uh, well, I'm sorry, ha? It's for I'm lack of, of not, ano. Uh, hindi ba pwedeng nag-request ka na ikaw na lang sa kusina? <laughs> o ikaw na lang sa, alam mo na, cleaning, to clean the, 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 ano, the rooms or the cabins, whatever. Hindi ba pwedeng ganun? Uh, hindi po. Kasi i-base nila ang, ang, ang assignment mo sa, sa pinag-aralan mo. Kung ikaw may pinag-aralan ng college level, ilalagay ka nila sa certain uh, uh -oh. certain MOS, uh -oh. yung military uh, occupational support. Uh -huh. But tell me, Roxanne, yung, yung emotional upheavals mo doon, I can imagine that that was not a small thing. Ha? No. Hindi, Grabe yun. Hindi po. Kasi na, nasanay din ako nung, from high school, from grade school to high school, uh -oh. I've been praying and asking that question, uh, why do I feel this way? Bakit uh -oh. ganito ang pakiramdam, pa uh -oh. pakiramdam ko? Uh -oh. na gusto kong magbago, pero yun eh. Uh -oh. Hindi ko rin naintindihan kung bakit ganun. Oo, oo, oo. Pero meron ka naging penpal, di ba? Meron ho? Penpal? Milet? Si uh -oh. Milet? Kaklasiko yan sa UST bago ko pinales. Ah, oo. Oh. Ngayon, a you also had uh, something with going on with her? Uh, I married it? her. Oh, you married her? Yeah. Ay, kinasal ka. Mm -hmm. Oh, at what point in your life? I was, di ba nga nasa Vietnam po ako? Oo. Uh -oh. Di, I, being in Vietnam, again, my loneliness was so surmountable. Mas Pero alam mo na, inaccept mo na nag-gay ka eh, sa Vietnam, di ba? Yeah, diba? but it, it's, it was some, it, kumbaga ko parang pakitang, ano ba ito? Kasi karamihan ng kasama ko, lalaki. Oo nga. So, lahat sila may asawa, may girlfriend, Oo. ako lang wala. <laughs> eh, kasi nga, gay ka. Oo. Oo. Pero Tapos, hindi po, wala pong nakakaalam na gay ako. Alright. So, ako lang, ako lang ang nakakaalam. So, parang ano yun, nadala ka lang? <laughs> parang, kaya mo pinakasalan si Mile? Okay. Yes. I think, homesick, homesick na naman ako nung nasa homesick. Vietnam ako. Oo. Wala akong kausap, walang sumusulat sa akin. Karamihan Oo. ng mga US military, dumadating ang mail ko, Dumadating uh -oh. ang mga sulat. Ako walang dumadating. So, uh -uh. <coughs> ang itong si 
itong napangasawa ko si Millet ang mm -hmm. naging pen pal ko mm -hmm. so she was my only source kung ano nangyayari sa Pilipinas oh, nung oh, ako oh, nasa oh. Vietnam at that oh, time oh, oh, oh. at nung bumalik ka sa Pilipinas pinakasalan mo si nung, Millet? Na, meron akong one, one month vacation sa military okay. so I came home oh. and that's when I you married you met Millet her. and yeah. you married Millet? yes, I know Millet, I've met her before but my 30-day vacation na yan, uh -oh. pinakasalan ko siya. Ano yun? How would you therefore ano, uh, categorize your, your, your persona? Were you the, at that time a bisexual? Ano ka ba nun? Kasi hindi ka na gay. Uh, hindi ka na gay eh. Nagpakasal ka eh, di ba? Uh -huh. So bi, bisexual ka na nun? It, it, se sexually, that's how you would... Uh, ganun ang uh -huh. ganun ang ikakategorize sa uh -oh. tao na and you had ang ano ang relasyon ninyo ni Milet eh normal ordinary couple husband it, and wife ganun it, it worked ba na, it, worked? it worked when we were apart ay ano yun nung nasa military pa po ako eh nagbakasyon lang ako dito oo nga so it the marriage uh, yung marriage namin hindi talaga nagsama hindi kami nagsama dahil nasa military pa ako Nung magsama na kami, yung, yung aming magiging, pag, magiging husband, husband and, and wife, wife uh, less than one year. Ah, one year lang. One year lang yon Dahil? Dahil, at this point, nasa Amerika na ako. And uh -oh. I felt the freedom as, after my military service. Uh -oh. na, na feel ko yung freedom ko na... na to be who you really to are. Be, to be, yes. I, I in the states, I've, America. In the states, yeah. Uh -oh. I've seen that gay life was a little bit more uh, open. You, yeah, open. Similet ba alam na gay ka before you married her? No. Ah, hindi niya alam. Hindi. Did you ever find out? Natuklasan ba niya na ikaw ay gay? Pinagtapat ko po. Ah, pinagtapat mo. Oh, so I would think you loved her too. I mean, you know, to a yeah. certain extent, you right. also loved her. Kasi nag, you trusted her with with that information? Right. Diba? Eh, kasi, How did she react? Nahirapan po kasi ako kasi uh, um, I was exploring <clears throat> my being gay. Uh Oo. -oh. Nasa Chicago kami noon. Tuwing uwi ako ng medyo gabi, inaaway niya ako at sinasabing may babae daw ako, may babae ako, may babae ako. <laughs> Ay, naku. <laughs> Tapos. So, so, it went on like that. Oh. So, oh. I, I, it, it, I, I was becoming very, very unhappy. Mm -mm. I was, and so one of my going out when I came back home, mm -mm. she did the same thing. Mm -mm. Mia, may babae ka, no? Ganun, mm -mm. Ganun. Mm -mm. And then I said, mag-usap tayo, mamiya. So I took a shower, and then when I came out, sabi ko, sit down, pwede ba tayo mag-usap? Sabi ko. Sabi niya, alam ko na sasabihin mo, sino is siya? Sabi niya, hindi siya, lalaki. Makasama ko, sabi ko. Sabi ko, bakla ako. Sabi ko sa kanya. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh, ang sagot niya. Edi, Paano sagot niya? Uh, edi, <laughs> na, napat, napatingin sa akin and then ah. she cried hysterical na. And then she started hitting me and everything like that, which I allowed her to do. To, uh -oh. to, 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 to release, you to, know. To that, release her uh -oh, anger, her anger. Uh -oh. and disappointment. And then, um, I think after, after nung pagtatapat ko, uh, she still wanted me to, she still wanted to stay married. Ah. Yes. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, ngayon at ako pagtapat na ako kung ano talaga ang pagkatao ko. Uh -oh. I think, bata ka pa, bata pa rin ako, I want you to have a um, chance to find somebody else. Uh -oh. Sabi niya, basta ikaw, ikaw ang pinakasalan mo ako, we can stay, we can work ah. it out. Sabi ko, hindi pa rin. Hindi ka na kanak. Nagkaanak kami isa. Ah, nagkaanak kayong isa? Mm -hmm. Nan, doon sa Amerika? Nandun sa Amerika. Ah, uh, alright. So what happened to the child? Nung nag-ano na kayo? After, when the child, yung child ho is six months old when, when I came out to her. Uh -huh. So, because it wasn't working anymore between us. Uh -huh. Much as na gusto niya na, na mag magpatuloy, mag no? magsasama niyo. Uh, at sinabi niya ata sa magulang niya dito sa Pilipinas. So, um, sabi niya, uwi na lang kami sa Pilipinas. Uh -oh. Okay, and uh, sabi ko, sabi niya, nagantay ako na pigilan mo ko, sabi niya. Sabi ko, hindi kita pipigilan, sabi ko. Uh -oh. well, umuwi ka na, sabi uh -huh. ko. Uh -huh. so, so, di na lang anak mo. 
dinala niya. Anak ko, dinala niya. Oh, six months old. So. And you, uh, you wholeheartedly allowed that na iuwi niya yung anak niya dito sa yes. Pilipinas. Yes, Okay. Now, so nag-divorce kayo ni... Nag-divorce kayo ni Millet. Ni Millet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tapos meron ka naman nakilala after that. <laughs> diba? Si Jerry. Oh, si, yun ang dahilan na kung bakit ako nagtapat. Ah, okay. Dahil one of those nights na lumalabas po ako, uh -oh. kasama ko si, si Jerry. Jerry. Ang kasama mo. Yeah. Okay. And I found, uh, doon ko nahanap ang sarili ko sa kanya. Mm -mm. Na, kay Jerry. Kay Jerry na masaya ako. Mas masaya ako dito kaysa sa asawa. Oo, oo, oo. After 12 years, nagkita ulit kayo ni Milete. Tsaka oh. nung anak mo. <laughs> How was that? Um, She, she's still married na rin siya. Ah, ah may family na siya. Yeah. So, ang nangyari, kami ni Jerry na siya sa kwarto. Hindi, saan kayo? Nasaan kayo? Nasa Berkeley, sa New Jersey. Sa New Jersey, mm. okay. So, we have a, we have, we had a house. And um, Jerry and I, of course, shared the same room. Oo. Oh, oh. um, one of those morning, I felt somebody was next to me. Jerry went, uh, nag, nagpunta na sa trabaho. Oo. Oh, oh. And it was her. Sabi ko, anong ginagawa mo? <laughs> Sabi ko, oh. I just want to know na maybe we could get back together. Sabi ko, nasisiraan ka ba ng ulo? Sabi ko, may asawa ka na and this not gonna work. It will never work. Sabi ko sa kanya. Oh, oh. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> oh, eh ang anak mo? Ang, ang anak ko at that time was 12 years old. Oo, oh, oh. kasama niya? Kasama niya. Nakita mo yung anak? Pinadala niya ang anak namin sa akin. That was my first time na makita ko yung anak ko. 12 years old. After, ah. after they left na 6 month old siya. Oo. Oh, oh. 12, 12 years later is oh. when nakita ko yung anak ko. Oo, oh, oh. how did that feel, Roxanne? Uh, ano, feeling mother ka ba? Feeling father? Ano yun? <laughs> uh, feeling parent. Feeling I don't know parent? if I can, uh, kung pwede kong i-categorize na mother or father because... I don't, I don't know how to feel either way. Okay. So I, I felt like I have to be a parent to mm -hmm. this child, you mm -hmm. know, without designated sexuality, you know, attached oh, to it. Oh. So a parent, you can be a parent, diba? Na basta alagaan mo ang bata, alagaan mo ang tao. Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi, yung bata, how did she take oh, ako he? she? Is it malalaki ba yan? Babae. He? Ah, babae. Oh. Oh, how did she take to you? I think my, uh, yung nanay niya, nasa beer niya, yung tatay mo, um, hindi mabuting tao, kung ano, anong pinagsasabi ah, sa kanya. Ka na. Sinira oh, ka na ng mother. Right. So, big sabihin, galit yung anak mo sa'yo. Oh, Nung ganun. nagkita kayo, parang hindi maganda. Hindi, hindi maganda. maganda ang experience na ganun. Especially at 12 years old, in, uh -oh. in, 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 uh, sa growth and development, hinahanap din niya ang sarili niya. Uh -oh. Kaya uh -oh. yung bata na yun, uh, I said, do you have any, meron ka bang questions sa akin? Do you have any questions for me? And, uh, Sabi niya, yeah, sabi niya, lalaki, lalaki pa po ako noon, hindi, hindi ganito. Ah, lalaki ka pa noon. Oh. Eh, kaya pala. Kaya pala, sub gusto subukan ni Milet na baka pwede pa kayo magbalikan. Oh, siguro po. Hindi pa ba? All right. Now, sige na nga, tumuloy na nga tayo doon sa baba, nagbabae ka na talagang dire-diretso. Mm -hmm. oh, bakit pa? Why did you have to do that? Ah, uh, kayo ni Jerry, eh, meron na kayong relationship, di ba? Mm -hmm. You were living as uh, a couple. Yeah. Uh, bakit pa? When Jerry and I opened a business, uh, I, I opened uh, a beauty salon mm -mm. in the New Jersey. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm a nurse also. Ah. So when I opened up a beauty salon, then I, I seen a different, again, kasarian ng tao. You know, it became more open uh -oh. to me. Uh, meron palang mga ganitong tao na may, may hindi lang gay. Uh, my exposure sa transgender became more prominent. Uh -oh. So, doon ko nakita, I go to trade shows, I go to um, um, fair ng mga beauty salons and things like that. And I, I felt very good. Mm -mm. And I met, this time, Ate Mel, I, I, Mel, I found a friend uh -oh. who is a transvestite uh -oh. who happens to be dressing up as a woman and was a performer. Mm -mm. And that was my first exposure. Sabi niya, ayusan kita, nakikita, kong, uh, nakikita kitang maganda kang babae. Sabi niya. Mm -mm. So, kami ang una back in, in the ninth, early 90s, doon kami nag-drag, nag ang tawag ay drag, drag show. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 
I, I was one of them that performed. Oh, you were lip, a performer. Lip, lip syncing. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I found a lot of comfort uh, and not flattered na people are, are amazed by my performance. Mm -mm, Kaya mm -mm. doon ako naging masaya. Oo. Oh, oh. Then and, um, a transgender advised me, sabi niya, alam mo, babae ko siguro, sabi sa akin. Oh, oh. Sabi ko, I don't know, sabi ko. I would, sana kausapin mo yung psychiatrist namin, sabi niya. Mm. So, doon nag-umpisa. Ah, so you went through the, yung, that, that long process? Yeah. To, the, the, including psychiatry? Yes. Inclu oh, and the surgeries? Yes. And the hormone treatments? And yes. You went through all of that? Exactly. And how long did that take? Well, the therapy alone took two years. Ang takal pala, ha? Um, two years? Yeah, and then, uh, oh. yung psychiatrist na yan ang mag-evaluate uh, mag, mag if you are Ready? true, really, a transsexual woman. Ah, I see. Uh, Siya ang mag-evaluate, hindi ikaw. Hindi ako. Hindi mo pwedeng ipilit na, hindi, Doc, ano ako eh? No. <laughs> Babahay ako talaga, operahan mo ako, hindi pwede yung ganun. Hindi ganun. Kasi itong psychiatrist, i-refer ka sa doktor. Okay. Na mag-operate mag sa'yo. Okay. Yeah. And at that time, at that hindi ka nagkaroon ng kahit na, you know, a modicum of a doubt na, oops, baka mali itong ginagawa ko. Ba't ako nagpapakababae? Never. 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 In fact, the psychiat yung psychiatrist confirmed niya sa akin na you've been living a tortured life as a woman. Uh Oo. -oh. Uh -oh. So, how long has it been since you have become Roxanne from Roland. From Roland, okay, uh, that was way back in 19, uh, no, 1989. Uh -oh. When I, when I changed. Ah, 1989. Mm -hmm. Ang takal na. Yes. How old were you then? I was in my 40s. Oh, bata yes. ka pa pala nag-umpisa, no? Uh -huh. Akala ko, recent lang yung, yung ganyang klaseng ano eh. Okay. Even then. And, and how, how is Roxanne treating Roland now? <laughs> Paano ngayon yan? How, how did it go? Yung, you know, the trip or the journey to I'm, being uh, Roxanne. I'm more happy the way I am now. I'm more happy about what I've done. I'm more, I feel more at peace with myself. Uh -huh. you know? Mas, mas uh, panata, panatag ang aking kalooban. Mm -hmm. Pero yung pinagdaanan mo, Roxanne, uh, hindi mo nakapiling ang father mo while you were growing up. Ito, being Roxanne, dalawang anak mo ang hindi mo nakapiling while they were growing up. Mm -hmm. Yan ba eh hindi bumabagabag sa kalooban mo? It, bumabagabag ko. Katulad oh. ng isang, sinabi ng isang anak ko. Mm -hmm. um, because um, what I do Yung ginagawa ko sa kanila is I overcompensate. Like, mm. overcompensate ako. Mm -mm. Sobra kong binibigay ko ano man ang gusto nila. Mm -mm. Tapos, sina sa sabi nung anak kong lalaki, you cannot buy love, dad, sabi yes. niya sa akin. Yes. Kasi dad ang tawag niya sa akin. Mm -mm. Ko, I'm not trying to, sabi ko, hindi, hindi ako bumibili ng pag-ibig nyo. Oh. Sabi ko, tinanggap nyo ako and this is part of ng being parent sa inyo. Now, if you cannot accept it, then there's nothing I can do. But I'm, I'm nakarating na ako sa punto na ganito ang naging ama nyo, yeah, either accept it or not, you know? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And how are you now with the kids uh, after we, all these years? And the, the resent, may resentment sila. Meron may, pa? Oh, oh. Hanggang ngayon? Uh, may resentment sila na... Parang, I of, yung often told me na para, para akong nanloko ng tao. Yun ang which, is, which was never my goal. But, in other people's mind, parang ganun dahil, bakit, in, bakit daw ako nagsinungaling? But, hindi nila alam na kailangan... Even you were also dealing with yourself, exactly. right? Parang... Ikaw, ikaw din mismo, ina, inaalam mo pa eh. Parang mm -hmm. What about your father? Did you ever find out? Um, nung makagraduate ako ng nursing, when I mm -mm. passed this, the 
registered nurse state board sa Amerika, mm -hmm. I, uh, I told, sinabi ko sa nanay ko, magbabakasyon tayo sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. And this was 1981, ata, ganun. Mm -hmm. Okay, 1981. And uh, at that time, nung umuwi kami, uh, Pilipinas, we, mm -hmm. we had a stopover sa Korea. Mm -hmm. Tapos sabi ko, ma, alam mo ba kung bakit tayo, bakit kita inuwi sa Pilipinas? Sabi niya, gusto mo magpakasyon? Sabi niya, di ba? And it, it was a 30-day vacation. And at that time, nagtatrabaho siya sa Hyatt. So we stayed at the Hyatt Regency sa Rojas Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, ma, hindi lang yun ang dahilan. Sabi ko, gusto kong pakita mo talaga sa akin kasi sino ang yeah. father ko, sabi ko. Sabi niya, bakit pa? Wala naman ginawa sa iyo yung taong yun, sabi niya. Sabi ko, it's not, hindi sa kung meron siyang nagawa sa akin or not. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko siyang makilala, sabi ko. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag-iisip niya, you know, material things ang pag-iisip ng mama ko na hindi ka mm -hmm. naman niya pinaaral, mm -hmm. hindi ka naman ginato. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, so for me, that wasn't a big deal. Sabi ko, I just want to know him. Okay. And? And uh, so when we landed in the Philippines, Mm -mm. She contacted some of our relatives who happens to be in the, in the government. Uh, yung, you know, one of my uncle is a, a con used to be a congressman, so kinontakt niya, and they, mm -hmm. um, of course, they were invited. Uh, we, they invited us to their house in mm -hmm. Green uh, Green Hills, Alta Okatanduan, mm -hmm. So when we went there, unbeknownst to me, na yung relative ng mama ko, kinontak nila yung papa ko. Oh my Did goodness! O, oh, tapos? So, so they said, kayo? pinasundo kami sa hotel uh -huh. ng, ng relative ng mama ko. Okay. Ang binongs to me na dadating ang tatay ko. Oh. So, di, nandun kami sa bahay ng well, nagkukwento ang sila because they were childhood, uh, they were, you know, the same age as my mother. Mm -mm. So, <coughs> But I told my mom, I said, Mom, are we going to eat yet? Sabi ko, it's past noon. Mm -hmm. You know, eh, hindi pa tayo kakain. Sabi niya, di, sabi niya, Rudy, ginugutom na daw ako. Ginugutom si Ronald. <laughs> so, oh. di pinaupo na kami. Parang merong silang inaantay. Kasi may, inaantay talaga pala nila yung father ko. Uh -oh. So, I was seated and there was a space left next to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, I, you know, I didn't know. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Uh -oh. So anyway, there was a man coming in. And there was a car na pulled up the driveway. Uh -oh. And uh, pumasok, mm -hmm. ang sabi ng, ginanon ako ng mama ko. Ayan na siya, sabi niya. Sino? Sabi ko sa mama ko. Yung hinahanap mo, tatay mo, sabi niya. Mm -hmm. So, and <laughs> How did you react? <laughs> was that, ano, was that really an emotional moment for you? Uh, yeah. Yes. And of course, you saw him. He came when in. I, when, I, when I got up. You got up? Mm -hmm. I got up and shook hands with him. Mm -hmm. And he did not shake hands with me. <laughs> he did not shake hands with you? He hugged me. Oh, he hugged you. Uh-oh. That was. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you cry. It's okay. <laughs> now you're making me cry too. <laughs> so you met your dad for the first time in, in your years. life. In 34 years. Oh. Did he tell anything? Did he say anything to you? Um, ano bang sabi ko sa kanya? Um, sabi, nauna ka? Nauna yes. ka bang nagsalita? N hindi ko alam po ang sasabihin ko. Oh, of course. Oh, ano sabi niya? Sabi niya sa akin, ang laki mo na pala, sabi niya. <laughs> what? what? Of all things to say, yes. malaki ka na pala. You were 34, right? So, you must have been this height already. Yes. Oh. I was 5'11". Oh. <laughs> Kaya well, sabi was... niya sa akin, um, sabi ko, sabi niya, nasaan na kayo? Sabi niya. Sabi, may, may tanong ka ba sa akin? Sabi niya. Sabi ko, yes, mar marami po. Sabi ko, pero umpisa ako ang tanong ko sa inyo. Bakit, bakit hindi mo kami hinala? Uh -oh. Yun ang okay. tinanong ko sa akin. Uh -oh. Tapos, sinagot niya? Ang sagot niya, buhay pa ba yung lola mo? Sabi niya sa ako. Uh -oh. yeah. So parang, 
Sabi ko, opo, buhay pa siya. Sabi ko, nasa LA ang lola ko noon. Sabi niya, sa manda mo hindi namamatay, sabi niya. So, sabi ko, huwag naman ho kayo magsalita ng ganyan. Sabi ko, hindi sa lola ko, hindi ako lumaki ng ganito. Sabi ko. Okay. Kaya, yun ang meeting ko sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabi niya, gusto kong ma-meet mo yung mga kapatid mo. Ah. At sampu ang anak niya sa... Wow! Sampu ang anak niya? Mm-hmm. Ikaw lang ang isang iba. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, from another woman. Ikaw yes. lang yung mag-iisa. Okay. Yeah. Ay, hindi. Dalawa po kami. Ah, dalawa kayo. Mm. Alright. So, <coughs> so, did you meet your, ano, 10 siblings? Hindi na niya. Tiga Marikina ata sila. Uh-oh. Te, ang, ang, sabi ng mama ko, saan mo dadali niya anak ko, sabi niya. Mm-hmm. Then, sabi ko sa mama ko, whether you like it, ma'am, or not, I'm gonna go with him. Sabi ko, malaki na ako. 34 years old na ako. Sabi ko, huwag ka matakot, sabi niya. Kailangan ibalik mo ng alas 10 ng gabi ang anak ko, sabi niya. <laughs> <laughs> They were talking like you were what? Five right. years old, ha? Right, right. Okay. <laughs> so, di ayun. Nagpunta kami sa, binisita namin yung pamilya niya. And after and, that? And, and after, you know, I saw, the, I saw his wife. And they, they were, his family are mostly in the mu- music industry. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dito sa Manila, sa Pilipinas. Uh-huh. So, so, dinala niya ako sa Shakey's. At that time, they were playing at Shakey's. Ah. And um, I saw them. Mm-mm. And then, um, I have, he has other children uh-huh. in London. Uh-huh. Kaya, nung pumunta ako sa London, doon ko rin na-meet yung top lock. So, now, that is, ano ba sabihin mo? Hindi closure yun eh, di ba? Uh, parang, you've moved on. Doon sa, sa anong yun? Sa no? part na yun. Sa part na yun, your life has moved on. Yes. At uh, ngayon, it's one happy family, if I may, you know, uh, say that, no? Na pati mga kapatid mo, kilala mo na, your father, that right. has been settled, no? Right. Ngayon naman, from Roland uh, Agusa. Agabao. Agu? Agabao. Agabao. Nag-transform ka na, your Roxanne. Desales. Desales, now, no? Pero, meron ba nag-iba sa'yo? Sa iyo, no. as a person. May nag-iba ba sa iyo? Sa nag- pag-uugali mo, sa values mo, sa sa yan, yung mga ganyan, meron? Wala po. Wala. Uh, walang nagbago sa akin. Ang new ko lang ang nagbago. Uh-huh. Uh, pero uh-huh. ang puso ko ay pareho pa rin. Uh-huh. And, Pag-iisip ko ay pareho pa rin. Okay. So naging masaya ka ba sa pamilya mo? Masaya po ako nalaman ko na uh, happy na ako doon. Just finding out uh-uh. kung sino sila. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And now, sino na ba si Roxanne de Sales? Sino na ba si Roxanne? <laughs> <laughs> Isa po akong masayang tao na ngayon. Oh, yeah, are you? Uh-huh. You're a happy person? Yes, yes, I'm happy. And I always go by, sinasabi ko, life is too short. You know? Yes. And in this life, sabi ko, I don't... Ayaw kong i-blame kahit na sino. Dahil ang mabuting tao ay nagbibigay ng blessings. Masamang tao, nagbibigay ng leksyon uh-huh. sa atin, di ba? Yes. At ang pinakamabuting tao gives us a lot of memories, good memories. Yes. And that is what we're striving for, right? All yes. of us. Yes. 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 Now, Before I end this interview, one last question. Mm-hmm. Anong nakasulat sa passport mo, babae o lalaki? Paano yun? I've always wondered, you know? Sa Amerika po. <laughs> oh, paano? Bago ka mag-complete, you have to go through a lawyer. Kailangan uh, kumalo ka ng abogado at gawin kang legal na babae. Ah, so you went so, to court. Yes. In the United States to yes. change your gender. Exactly. Ayun. At, saka, at kaya ang passport ko at ang pangalan ko po ay legal. So, I'm not impersonating somebody's name. Yes. Yeah. So, ah. it, it was granted to me by the court. Mm-mm. So, from my driver's license to social security card yes. to mm. passport and everything, ah. it's a legal name. Yes. So, I can go anywhere without having to question. K- kasi lalabas at lalabas yun sa tip. Ano bang tawag sa TSA? Uh-huh. Especially now, with after the uh, 9-11, 9/11 sa Amerika, 
Yeah, they're very, very strict. Mm -mm. Background mo nasa pan, when they take the, your passport, nakikita nila. Mm -mm. So, female ka sa passport mo? Female. Walang kaduda-duda yan? Wala po. Talagang female? Female. So, ate, maraming salamat. Thank you, po. <laughs> Thank you so much for this privilege of knowing you and knowing your story. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank having you. me. Thank you.